morning dear students hope you are all doing good so let us continue the chapter knowing our numbers so we have to start exercise 1.3 so see the first uh, main to that estimate each of the following using general rule okay the first problem is the first problem is 730 plus 998 okay so this is the first problem we have to estimate estimate means we have to bring the so number to the nearest digit nearest value and we have to round off the number to the nearest value and then we have to add simply add this b so 730 is between 700 and 800 so which number it is nearer we have to find out so for 700 it is nearer because i told that whatever the numbers more than 750 that comes near to 800 so less than 750 comes to 700 So seven hundred is near seven hundred. That's why I wrote seven hundred plus nine hundred and ninety-eight is nearer to nine hundred or thousand. So it is definitely nearer to thousand. So I will write so nine ninety-eight instead of nine ninety-eight. I will write thousand. So the estimated uh, value is thousand plus seven hundred to thousand seven hundred. Like this, you have to solve this problem. For example, on the one I take. So twelve thousand nine hundred and four plus two thousand eight hundred and twenty eight. So this is another number we have given. Okay. So we have to see. So whether this twelve thousand nine hundred and four is it? It is nearer to ten ten thousand or is it nearer to? So twelve thousand we will take. Twelve thousand or thirteen thousand. Twelve thousand or thirteen thousand is nearer. It is nearer to thirteen thousand. Okay, so R it is nearer to ten thousand or twenty thousand. It is definitely nearer to so ten thousand. So I will write so ten thousand here. This two uh, thousand is nearer to so two thousand eight eighty eight is nearer to two thousand or three thousand. It is definitely nearer to three thousand. That's why I will take three thousand. And I will add this ten thousand plus three thousand, so thirty thousand. So thirty thousand is the answer. We have to bring the, we have to estimate the so number to the nearest, to the nearest hundreds or thousands or lakhs. Okay, thousands or ten thousand, and then we have to add. Okay, to uh, the estimate the the addition or sum. In the same way, uh, remaining problems you will do uh, in home. Next, uh, give a rough estimate by rounding off to second main. Okay. So next one is second main. Okay. So another problem we do in first main only. So first main, so first main D one twenty eight thousand two ninety two minus twenty one thousand. Four ninety six. The last problem in the first main. So this twenty eight thousand. So is it nearer to twenty thousand or thirty thousand? It is definitely nearer to thirty thousand because twenty eight thousand is there. So I will write the thirty thousand here minus twenty one thousand is nearer to twenty thousand or thirty thousand. So it is definitely nearer to twenty thousand. So thirty thousand minus twenty thousand is ten thousand. Like this, you have to bring to the nearest tens, hundreds, thousands, lakhs, ten thousands, okay? And then you have to add or subtract whatever the sign they have given that you should follow. Next, give a rough estimate. Second main, give a rough estimate by rounding off to nearest hundred, and also closer estimate by rounding off to nearest ten. First, we have to round off nearest to nearest hundred. And then the answer came, so that answer should be so rounded off to nearest ten. I have given. Okay. So first problem we do. So we do the so second problem. One lakh eight thousand seven hundred thirty four forty seven thousand five hundred and ninety nine. Okay. So first I have given first uh, by rounding off to nearest hundred. So by rounding off to nearest hundred means I have to take seven thousand seven hundred thirty four 
for uh, 599 is there to 600. So 600. In place of 599, I have to write 600. In place of 734, I have to write so 700. Then I have to subtract this. One. Divide the 
difference of 18 and 6 by 4. Divide the difference of difference of 8, 18 and 6. Difference means minus. What is meant by difference? Difference means minus sign you have to put. So difference of 18 to and 6 should be divided by divided by 4. Should be divided by 4. Okay. Or you can also write like this. 18 minus 6 so is divided by 4. Okay. So this is the answer for B. Next C. 45 divided by 3 times the 40. C problem. 45 divided by 5. 3 times. 3 times the sum of 3 and 2. 45 divided by 3 times the sum of 3 and 2. The sum of 3 and 2 you have to write. The sum should be 3 times and then this answer should be divided. Huh? 45 divided by that so sum. Sum and the product. So this is how by seeing the instruction you need to write the so writing numbers. Okay. So next uh, write the Write five situations for the following where brackets will be necessary. Okay. So in the same way, whatever the sentences they have given, in the same way you have to write the so examples so for those problems. So next, so how to write? Just it is a revision question. Revision. How to write in Roman numbers? You already studied in fifth standard. What about the Roman number? Okay. So what is the Roman number and how we have to write the so Roman numbers just we will recall just we will so brush up your mind okay so so for one we have to write so i for two for two so we have to write like this three four so five we behind that one should be there i should be there five and six seven 8, 9, for 9, x, x means 10 is there. So, behind 1, if I write, it becomes 9. In the same way, in the same way, for 10, x, for 20, for 30, for 40, you have to write 50. L means 50. Behind that x, so that becomes 40. L means 50. After L, if I write X, that becomes 60. Like that, C means 100. D means 500. So, M means 1000. C, X means 110. Like this, if you recall, so we have, uh, we, uh, we have learned about the Roman number, Roman numbers like this. Let us see some more examples. So, let us write. Let us write. Hope you are writing in your point code book. So while I am doing here, you have to maintain one point code book and you have to copy them. Okay. Copy the problems what I have solved here and then you have to do the so, textbook problems and workbook problems. So in page number 25, try these. Try this. Write in the Roman numerals. 70. So we know that L means 50 plus 10. Plus 10, sorry, plus 10, plus 10, 50, 60, 70, 3. Like this we have to write. For 92, for C, C means 100, behind it if I write X, that means 90, and then 2, 92. Like this we can write the numbers in Roman numerals. And then let me solve one more problem. Write the numer Roman numerals for 69. Okay. 69. L means 50. Uh, X means 10. 50 plus 10, 60. 9 means uh, like this. So behind X, uh, I should be there. So that is 9. Then 98. C means 100. This is 90. 95, 96, 97, 90. Okay. So this is how so we can write the Roman number. This is all about the, so that is uh, some problems about the Roman numbers and your exercise 1.3 about estimation.
making the sum difference and product okay so in the next class we will start the new chapter whole numbers new chapter whole numbers that is also so very simple very simple lesson so we will uh, uh, understand in the next class okay